Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to get some EPSXE PlayStation emulator on your PC. Alright, this is it's kinda easy, but uh, I'm gonna show you how. You First of all, you go on emulatorzone.com and you click inside the PlayStation, or sometimes there is PlayStation 2 emulator, but PlayStation in this case, and you click EPSXE, my favorite one. All the rest it will work but really slow or really unplayable and yeah um, EPSXE and easy to download right there. Then there is you'll go to muparadise.org ROMs and P and then you'll go in the side ROMs, then go down down scroll down and you'll see PlayStation. Click it in, you'll see your game, click your game and start downloading. Then in that case when you got all your files you will open EPSXE and you will click on VIG and your wizard guide and from there you click you need to you need to get zoom that's really easy you just write there for the internet connection I haven't been going good lately but uh yeah okay yeah so we'll go to muparadise.org bios files bios and uh, you'll see some PSX ISOs, P um, BIOS, I mean, some 1001, click it, download right there, and you'll go in EPSXE, you'll get it there, and you'll find it in this list of BIOS, and you'll click next, and they'll say, we not, cannot be found, reinstalling, you just press OK, you'll wait for quite a while. In this case, we could go down with the the plugins. The plugins are really, really, really easy to get. Um, I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, there we are. It's inside emulatorzone.com, and just copy this on your uh, internet page. And you got the graphic graphics plugins. You take the one you choose, but I usually take these two on the bottom. Pete's and controller. You'll take any of yours too. Sound and if you have. If you need CD plugins, which makes a CD inside your ISO bin to play it, you'll need one of these. You download right there on the spot, and now you would get all these. D3D render is the one I use. You config it, full screen or window. You choose. Um, all this is pretty much good. Type two. Nothing here. Nothing here. 200, 320, 200, it's perfect, and it's okay, and you click next, and now there's another one, Pete's D sound, I take config, you'll take as the volume you want it to be from the ISO, me, I put it loudest, because I like bumping songs, but just me, um, okay, need for cd round plug, and I take 7 CDR driver, and I config that, and this is pretty much already great as it's supposed to be. Press OK. Next, you click your controllers and you will config them as your you want it. Press OK. Next, you're done. And now you will file, run ISO. Um. Now you will take your game that you have downloaded, and you will extract it to a bin the bin file and then from the bin file 
you will go inside run iso then you click the bin file and as you can see inside goes like this button again it's perfect um yeah but uh, if it goes a bit too slow like this meaning you have too much programs open you just want to click out some that is a little tutorial how to get EPSXD and make most of that work if you got any comments please do write and that is your thing thank you bye